Welcome back in lecture series on topic chemical thermodynamics. Today we will discuss about nature of work and heat and also we will study the sign conventions of work and heat. In our previous lectures we have studied about energy is a transfer from system to surrounding or from surrounding to system and it is studied under thermodynamics. That means what energy transfer from system to surrounding takes place by two ways and this that is work and heat. That means work and heat are the modes of transfer of energy from system to surrounding or from surrounding to system. Now we will study here first about what is meant by work and how energy is transferred from system to surrounding or from surrounding to system in the form of work. So according to mechanics, work is the energy by which body is displaced through distance d by application of force. Now see here, this is a particular body and when you apply force in this direction, then this body will move through distance d. Therefore, W is equal to F into D where F means a force applied in the direction in which the body moves through distance D. So according to mechanics definition of work is the energy by which body is displaced through a distance D with an application of force. Now in thermodynamics Work done is of pressure volume type that is PV type of work and this work done when system that is gas expand or contracts against opposing force. How that we will study here. Consider here the diagram A. In this diagram cylinder is there and this cylinder is fitted with a movable frictionless piston having area A and in this cylinder a certain amount of gas is enclosed having pressure P which is called as a opposing which is called as a driving force and outside this piston P external external pressure is there which is called as a opposing force remember that the pressure of the gas is called as a driving force and the pressure outside this piston that is external pressure is called as opposing force. Now suppose this gas is a system because we are considering the pressure volume of gas. So gas is a thermodynamic system. Now suppose the, uh, there is no transfer of heat and if you allow this gas to expand then this piston will move in upward direction and the displacement takes place through distance d and the initial volume of the gas is v1 that increases from v1 to v2 and expansion of gas takes place. Now such a type of work is called as work of expansion and during this this gas loses its energy. During this, this gas loses its energy and does the work on the surrounding. Therefore, this type of work is work done by the system on the surrounding. Therefore, it loses its energy. Therefore, in such a cases, work done is shown by negative sign as system loses energy to perform the work of expansion. In another case, see here the diagram C. In this diagram, this opposing force does the work on the system and in such a cases, external pressure that is opposing force is greater than driving force and this opposing force pushes the gas in a downward 
direction. So compression of gas takes place. Initial volume of gas is V1 and final volume is V2. And here V1 is greater than V2. So volume decreases. Piston move from initial position to final position and in a downward direction. So there is a decrease in volume. And due to this what happens or this type of a work is called as work of compression. As surrounding does work on the system, energy of surrounding decreases. But energy of system increases because energy is added into the system and therefore energy of system increases here and this type of work is called as a compression type of a work and whenever compression takes place then W that is work done is positive because energy is added into the system. So energy of system is increased. I hope you understood this concept of expansion and contraction. Now see here the W is equal to in thermodynamics thus P into V where P means pressure, V means volume. Now pressure is defined as a force per unit area and therefore P is equal to F divided by A. But if D is the distance, then area is equal to D square and volume is equal to D cube. Then W is equal to PV. If you substitute these values of pressure, volume and the area, then what we will get? See here. W is equal to PV. So, P into V, pressure multiplied by volume is equal to what? If you substitute the value of pressure, F divided by A, force per unit area into volume is equal to work done. That is equal to what? F into F divided by A into V, that is F divided by A means area. And area is equal to D square. Therefore, D square into volume, volume is equal to D cube. So, substitute the value of the V. So, D cube. Then you will get what? W is equal to P into V is equal to F into D. That means what? The work done in mechanics is equal to F into D and that is equal to work done in thermodynamics that is P into V. So, P into V is equal to F into D that is equal to W. So, work is the way by which system exchanges energy with the surrounding. So, now let us study this expansion and contraction by taking an example of a chemical reaction. So, first we will study here the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is in a liquid state. And when hydrogen peroxide decomposes, then it gives water in a liquid state and oxygen gas is produced in this chemical reaction. Now suppose this reaction is carried out in a cylinder and this cylinder is heated with a piston having certain mass. Then H2O2 is in a liquid state. So, V1 is the volume of H2O2 in the initial stage that is V1 and this is what the before the reaction takes place. This is the case before the reaction takes place. Now when reaction takes place, the decomposition takes place and here the volume of this reaction mixture increases because the formation of oxygen and system uh, volume of system increases from V1 to V2 due to oxygen produced during the reaction and this oxygen pushes the piston in upward 
direction. It raises the mass in upward direction as like this. It is lifting the mass and to lift this mass, to raise this piston in upward direction, system utilizes or system consumes its energy. System loses its energy in lifting this mass. And here when no heat is transferred, then system loses its energy to the surrounding and perform a work which is called as a work of expansion. So when the work is done by the system, here work is done as system loses its energy, system does the work. Therefore work is done by the system and energy is transferred from system to surrounding. Hence, W that is work is negative as system loses its energy to do the work. W is negative in case of expansion type of work. Now, we will study the another chemical reaction. See here, the reaction between ammonia gas and hydrogen chloride gas. Both are in a gaseous state. So, the volume is more here. Yeah, gaseous ammonia reacts with gaseous hydrogen chloride and form ammonium chloride which is in a solid state. Now before the reaction start, V1 is the volume of this NH3 and NHCl gas, the initial state. But when the reaction takes place, then ammonium chloride solid is formed. And both these gases that is ammonia and hydrogen chloride, these are the reactant, these are consumed and solid ammonium chloride is formed. Therefore, what happens here? The volume decreases from V1 to V2 through distance D here and comprehension type of work takes place. Mass, this piston is moved in a downward direction. So, the height uh, of the mass is decreased when the reaction takes place. So here work is done by the surrounding on the system and such a type of a work is called as work of comprehension. Here V1 is greater than V2. Volume is decreased from V1 to V2 and energy is added into the system. As surrounding does the work on the system. So work is done by the surrounding and energy is transferred from surrounding to system. Hence W is here positive. The sign of work done is positive when comprehension type of work is done. Now the next way to transfer the energy from system to surrounding is the heat and heat is a you know that heat is a form of energy in first lecture we have studied heat is a form of energy by which system exchanges energy with its surrounding and you also know that heat flows from the either system to surrounding or from surrounding to system but for that the condition is there, system and surrounding should be at different temperature. If system has temperature 40 degree Celsius and surrounding has temperature 25 degree Celsius, then the heat is transferred from system to surrounding, from hot body to cold body, like that. So heat flows either from system to surrounding or from surrounding to system only when the system and surrounding are at different temperature. Now observe this diagram. Suppose this beaker is our system and the rest of this is surrounding. Then suppose here the hot water if you take in this beaker then the heat flows from 
this hot body to cold body so that temperature of this uh, water bath decreases but instead of this if you take ice cubes in this then this ice cube will melt and temperature of the surrounding decreases so uh, the heat flow either from system to surrounding or from surrounding to system so so now let us consider the sign conventions of work and heat you know that work and heat are path function so how the work is carried out uh, how the uh, transfer of energy is carried out on that uh, the signs are depend so suppose this is the system and this is the rest of the part of the system that is called as a surrounding now suppose heat is added to the system from the surrounding heat is added to the system from the surrounding then heat is positive q is positive like that system loses heat to the surrounding then the sign of heat is negative sign if system loses energy to the surrounding or system evolves heat into the surrounding then q is negative but if heat is absorbed by the system then q is positive remember that when system absorbs heat q is positive and when system loses heat q is negative very important points from this lecture and when system does the work on the surrounding then which type of work is done system does work on the surrounding then it is an expansion type of a work and therefore w is negative work of expansion is there system does work on the surrounding and when surrounding does work on the system then compression type of a work takes place energy is transfer to the system energy is added to the system and therefore w is positive so thank you